So we have those with like 6,000 graphs. Then we're doing a line detection. So this is the, so the, what we need to do is to detect, well, everything on this graph, essentially digitize it. This is um, just an image. So we want to extract the, um, we want to determine the type of the chart and then extract the data points. Ideally, we'll also extract the, um, the text from it. Well, we kind of have to, to be able to extract the data. So this is, this was all made for us by ChatGPT. Uh, we generated the, the scroll controller, the port of K. And then we, we have those images being pulled out, out of a um, folder. Yeah, we had some errors with that, but uh, eventually again, ChatGPT was able to sort it for us. And we yeah, had to make the scroller wider, which was only uh, a narrow thing. Yeah, we had to, essentially when regenerating, we would uh, copy the script over and then uh, comment out. And so essentially selecting between two versions, and the old one, the new one, and comment out whichever uh, changes were made. I think obviously Go Pilot can probably do it for you automatically, but we uh, just use this because we don't want to pay for it. Well, not yet. We could try it for free, I think, for a month or so, but um, then you probably get addicted to it. And uh, so yes, we're updating the images with scroll. Uh, yeah, originally when on loading the tool, it would not display anything until you started scrolling. So that prompt solved that. Uh, then yeah, we want to display the original and the modified image. Uh, we tried a circle uh, detector, but that didn't work well at all. It um, didn't detect, had a lot of false positives, so we'll essentially label uh, random uh, places in the image. So maybe there's something wrong in the implementation, we'll have to uh, try again. But um, what we want to do is, the, is uh, we have some procedure at hand. So we, we need to label first, um, determine if the chart is a bar chart, and then if it is, then is it horizontal or vertical? Then we have to do dot charts, which we might ignore for now. I think they're actually very uh, common. They look, look like this. Yeah, we need to set the priority correctly of what we what order we do the things in. Uh, we are detecting uh, lines. It's not detecting any line. Uh, the next step would be just detect horizontal or vertical, because most um, images, most, char most charts will have this. So we want to be able to detect this type of uh, L, L shape lines. So we might as well uh, have it as a separate function. So for axis, uh, we want to detect two L shape uh, lines. And it should be uh, large. We'll try both, see what we get. The other thing is like, how do we edit uh, into our code? Yeah, so labeling circles didn't work. Uh, if the circles could be handy, if we then find them a within L shape, which would be the axis. Axis, axis, axis. I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but you get my point. The window is scalable and we like it a lot. I know it's a bit uh, jumpy. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, there's some buggy uh, business when you start scaling. So ideally we keep the we would like to keep the aspect ratio. It might be important or not. I don't know. So the rendering on display is one thing, but uh, it's probably happening uh, later anyway. So yeah, combining earlier prompts uh, sometimes uh, sometimes works. Work sometimes, but um, not always. And then it was trying to correct things when uh, what you asked for didn't actually work. Yeah, we had a problem with that image resize only time after. Yes, it was um, the resizing of the image when um, changing the size of the window didn't quite quite work, but it's working okay now. You had some error, which uh, GPT was able to solve. Yeah, we had some ugly labels on top of each circle. We got rid of it, but again, the circles were giving a lot of um, the circle detector was giving a lot of false positives and false negatives. Yeah, combining prompts, circles uh, incorrectly. It wasn't able to to do much with that. Yeah, we added the original image as well. So sometimes when you had it to begin with, then it will um, they remove it when you ask for something else. Then you have to probably ask to combine previous prompts. So it does that. Okay. Yeah, we're replacing the circle with a line detector. So that's what we do here. And the circle detector is still there. So we want to find the area for the chart. So how do we do that? So normally it's what we have is um, a new code and an old code. So here we're asking for a line, a text text detection. It's using an OCR library from Tesseract. Tesseract, I don't know how to pronounce it. So how about, and that we had a lot of trouble with that many the folders, like access to folders and things like that. To perform OCR on the image, it converts the image to grayscale, applies any necessary pre-processing steps, such as special noise removal, and then uses Tesseract image underscore underscore string to extract the text from the image. You can just try a different uh, chat, a different GPT to just see what's in, what's the other options. So ask uh, Bing Bing Chat, see what it says. It's also mentioning the Tesseract thing. 
they are having trouble uh, getting it to, to work. This erect is finding templates in pixels, letters, words, and sentences. It's used to step approach that calls adaptive recognition. Let's start a new chat for a sec to a Python text detector in an image. Make sure to replace path slash to slash your slash image.jpg with the actual path to your image file. The code opens the image, converts it to grayscale, and then uses tesseract image underscore to underscore string function to extract the text. Finally, the extracted text is printed to the console. Note that the accuracy of text detection can vary depending on factors like image quality, font, and other noise present in the image. You may need to preprocess the image or fine tune the OCR parameters for better results, depending on your specific use case. Let's test it with uh, one of the images. And then select uh, something with, uh, well, any, any image will do. So we, the last good script that we had was this thing. We can scroll. We have the six, 60,000 images that we can scroll through. And this code will show you the original image and the one uh, labeled. Currently, when we're doing a line detection, we tried a circle detection before they didn't work quite well uh, they just commented it out but change image yeah it used to be here anyway it's Kolsky now yeah so essentially have um, the way we are working with ChatGPT is that we have three python scripts running and we're selecting we generate code and then selecting which one works better the question then if is how do we combine things together that's a bit of a that's something i haven't yet figured out we'll see how we go but this one is a keeper we'll give this a this ah it's finally working on the installation it's needed to be pointing to the executable so we got all uh text in an image Let's check see how well the original image yeah we got 22 20 yep yep that's very handy it didn't get the um, Where's this bit from? Got a few weird bits. But it's uh, better than nothing. It's, uh, it's good. Process the extracted text. Once you have the extracted text, you can further process it according to your requirements. You can perform tasks such as text cleaning, analysis, or integration with other systems. Note that OCR accuracy can vary depending on factors such as image quality, text complexity, and language. You may need to experiment with different preprocessing techniques or adjust OCR parameters to achieve better results. So this code is actually better. So this one's a key part. We have, so we're processing images. So we have this line detector with an image scroller. So we have about 60,000 or so images that we are trying to process, all of them are graphs. I'm trying to extract the information from them because they're not digital. They just uh, images like you would have in a PDF or printer form if you took an uh, image. So we're doing a line detection with this one. You can scroll through the images, show the original one and the processed one. And now we're also trying to, I don't know why, uh, this particular algorithm is detecting text as lines. So we're trying to correct for that. Yeah, we had a lot of um, errors and problems running one of those uh, test racked uh, algorithms, which uh, finds text in the image. We also tried early on, we tried the circle detector, but that was all over the shop. It's giving a lot of false positives, false negatives. So we turned that one off. So we need to detect which type of chart that is. So I'm pretty sure I'm pretty confident if we in the list is. We have a bar chart and then horizontal vertical. We need to detect that. Dot charts we will ignore for now. Then we have line charts and scatter plots. So for line charts, we'll, if I assume, assuming if we detect any non-horizontal or uh, vertical uh, lines, it's uh, safe to say that it's a uh, line chart. We could also search on the right and left and up and above the vertical and horizontal lines because we assume those are the axes of the image. So I don't know why it keeps detecting those as lines. Um, just the text there, not sure how to correct that. Um, and yes, in the bar charts, you'll have a lot of, uh, so essentially if you have more than two or three vertical lines, it's probably be safe to assume that it's a vertical bar chart and same thing for horizontal. If you have more than say two or three horizontal lines, then it's a, a bar chart. Then we still need to, once we detect the chart type, we also need to extract the information from it. So that's a whole a different story. So here we're extracting text from an image, which works more or less. Okay, and we'll have to improve it. Yeah, it's also all sort of funny business. The question with text as well, it's uh, whenever I detected it, is it possible? Let's try like the last thing for today is um, when detecting text. Um, is it possible to uh, detect text in an image and place the digital version of it and the overlay on top? Like the digital version of it, yeah, those uh, prompts prompts have to be made much clearer. Let's see if it gets uh, what we're asking for. To detect text in an image and overlay it on top, you can use optical character recognition, OCR, techniques along with image processing libraries. Here's a step by step approach using Python and the Tesseract OCR library. Perform image preprocessing, optional, but can enhance OCR accuracy. Morphological operations to remove noise, thresholding to enhance text regions, perform OCI. OCR, it's okay, overlay the text, create a copy of the original image, image copy, add 
a bounding box around each detected text region. Display the original image with overlaid text. By running the above code, you will be able to detect the text in the provided image, draw bounding boxes around each detected text region, and overlay the text on top of the original image. Make sure to replace path slash to slash your slash image.jpg with the actual path to your image file. Uh, we need to be using that by, yeah, uh, Tesseract. I don't know how to pronounce it properly, well, just the names so you can pronounce it. Anyway, you like. How good is that? You have any this for it to work? That's the bit we were struggling with before. We need a path to the image. Image path, that's okay. Convert the image to grayscale, maybe. A pre processing. Oops. This is optional. We'll keep it there. We need the OCR, of course. Right, and this is the overlay. Take that region, display the original image, yes. Not sure. Just name, give it random names for now. Close that. What? Original image, detect the text. Okay, detect the text. <laughs> okay, I meant, okay. So good. Right. So I reset. Yeah. So I detected text I meant actually overlaying the. Okay, that's not exactly what I meant. 